Stylus cell shading, also known as tune shading, gives that anime look. So let's dive into Godot. So Godot has built in tune shading, as you can see on the red model here. But if I want to add it to the green model, here's how you do it. So if I select the mesh, I can go to surface material override for this one, since it already has a material. And I can make a new standard material 3D. Then I can open it up and I can give it a color. So I'm going to make it green again. I think this green is pretty nice. And then you go into shading and we have diffuse mode. And diffuse is how light scatters on top of the material. But we can change it from burly to tune. And you can see that the light is affecting the material a little bit differently. And then we have specular mode. And specular has to do with the reflections. So if we change this to tune as well. And we go down to roughness. If we lower the roughness, that would mean we're making it more smooth. We can see the reflections are acting a little bit differently. If I reset the specular mode to the default, you can see that the reflections are handled differently. Without the tune shading, the model would look um, metallic or plastic with this low of a roughness. But with the tune, it doesn't look bad. So it's looking pretty cool. If you don't want that spot and the rough shadows of it, you don't have to make the roughness zero, but that's what you gotta do to get that cool effect. And what we did here was to replace the entire material. But if you wanna keep the material of the model that you have, you can go into the mesh and you will see that on surface zero, you have a material already. You can't access it, it's like locked. And to unlock it, we hit the drop down arrow and we make it unique recursive and hit OK. This unlocks the material and we can do the same for the material. So the drop down arrow and make unique recursive and hit OK. And now it's freely open to change. So we can change the diffuse mode and the specular mode. And then we can change the roughness to zero. And now it's behaving the same way as the model. If we wanted to, we can give it some rim light to make it stick out a little bit. So we have it rim here, we can enable it and you can see that there's a little bit more of a border or an edge to it. And it does look pretty good on the mask here. You can see the comparison between this one and the other one. I think rim looks pretty good on that. And that's how you use the built-in tune shading in Guido. Thanks for watching and special thanks to my members. For source code, custom videos or coaching, check out my Ko-Fi and I'll see you in the next one.